Hi guys, it's Nicole here with Mommy Tips by Cole. I'm excited to share a requested video. If you saw my recent vlog, I posted our baby shower vlog for our fourth child, Colby. And some of you guys requested me to do a baby shower haul. Now, the baby shower that I had this time around was the smallest of all the baby showers I've had of all four of our kids. The first baby shower was huge. We had it in a hotel. There's like over a hundred people and we had a room full of gifts. There's just so many things and we thought we needed everything under the sun for our first child and a lot of those things I didn't end up using or ended up returning. But the items that I did use with my first child I used with my second and my third because I had three under three. Oh my gosh. And now, five years after having my third child, I'm pregnant with my fourth and I am currently 37 weeks. So she is due any day now and she's moving right now. So I wanted to film this video before she arrives and before I start using everything. And a lot of the things that I got, I've already opened or washed or put away so most of this video is just gonna be me showing you some of the products that I put away um, or still in boxes or um, some just a couple things I had to exchange or return and then some other things I purchased after the shower because they're things that we needed and once I knew we didn't have it anymore we went out and purchased it and um, there's just only a couple more things I have to get or that I'm waiting for and pretty much we're ready for our fourth baby. So I just want to thank everybody that, you know, gave us gifts and um, or contributed towards, you know, getting something big that we need for the baby. Like I said in my baby registry must-haves video, all the things I had in my registry are things that are very minimal, things that I know that I'm going to use and need at least for the first three months. And I will gradually, you know, buy her more clothes as she gets bigger. I will gradually buy her, you know, feeding essentials and things like that um, as she gets bigger. And luckily enough, I had a couple um, of people give me some hand-me-down clothing. So that helped tremendously. Um, and that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to move right on to the stuff. From our baby so the first few bits of things are just a bunch of clothes. So some of them I bought, some of them were gifts, um, bibs, uh, burp cloths, onesies, and I bought this and I love this. It's the wet brush for babies. If you're familiar with the wet brush, yes, they make one for babies. So I had to get that for her. And the only things that I kind of put away and wash are just clothes she can wear now and blankets and towels and you know stuff like that a lot of them were gifts but some of them we bought or I've already hauled and then the other half of clothes are downstairs which you'll see in I'm a minute. not done but I bought this um, for upstairs to store the diapers are actually gonna go back here don't mind swatches on my arms um, wipes and then I'm gonna arrange this um, and some of the stuff I bought, some were given. I have breast pads there, and then um, that's for the diaper bag for the dirty diapers. So I have to arrange this. Some of the other things I actually kept down here because I'm not going to use it right away. Or I just haven't gotten a chance to put them away yet. But um, everybody brought books for us um, at the shower. And then I also added some books that I was saving that I've gotten uh, for her because I don't have any really baby books safe from the kids. Um, these bottles, I already hauled them. They're Juvie. And then I have some t Tommy Tippy um, that I hauled that I got from the company. Um, this is also something that I got as a gift for the carrier, but I'm not going to put that on the carrier yet because she's too small. Um, I got some different variety of diapers to try for newborn, the Honest, 7th um, generation, and Pampers. I'm going to see what I like most and then buy more of it in bulk. And I have some others 
two that I put, I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, I've already put away, I'm not really going to show these clothes because um, I separated them already according to sizes. So this bag I believe is the um, three, some of them are zero to three and some of them are three to six months um, clothing. And I haven't washed these yet um, because I'm only going to, wash them as she grows, and then store them as she grows. I don't have any space to store all these clothes right now because she's not going to use these right now. Um, some of these things she won't really need till she's bigger too. Like these feeding bibs are more so bibs when she starts eating um, table food. And a lot of these clothes in here are 6 months or 6 to 12 months. Um, some of them are old stuff from the girls, which is only bibs because I've only kept a few things. Um, for them and then some of these clothes were gifted some of them were don donated um, by friends and then here's a pair of toms that I showed in a haul so this is more when she's six months and older so I'm probably going to store that somewhere um, until she grows and then over here is um, my bag here of leftover favors and cards and stuff like that that I'm going to keep have as a keepsake. And then this is a baby bag that my friend gave me, Minette, Learn with Minette by Westlife because she had a bag like this for her son. Although she picked this style specifically for me because it's more my style. Um, but I'll probably use this bag when she's a little bit bigger, like, you know, starting to eat you know, solids, because I know there's, like, insulated pockets here for, like, um, you know, food, baby food and snacks and stuff like that. Um, also got the Sure Comfort Deluxe Tub. This was actually the tub that was on my registry, and I had two uh, double tubs, but this is the one I wanted because it's small and will fit in our closet because we don't have much space. So that's why I picked this tub. And then I have this GoPod, which I mentioned in my registry must-haves. Um, I have yet to try it out. It's like a portable um, standing. For one, they're already standing, like a portable travel GoPod. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It's not a walker, but, um, you know, you can bring it to the beach. You can bring it outside. Just something to put them in if they want to keep standing and not be sitting in a stroller and they're at that stage. So those are all the things that I put here also, for now. So our stroller came in. I actually ordered the stroller. I got the Recaro Denali, which I showed in my registry must-haves video. This came in yesterday. I have to open that, but it's going to go with the car seat, which our parents got for us. Um, and it matches the stroller, which is the same color theme. Um, I've already had her blanket to go home washed this car seat canopy that a friend gave and then this thing to put at the bottom of the base in the car um, that's ready to go and this was the other bathtub that I told you guys I got that I'm gonna return and exchange for the last bit of things that are little things that are left on our registry this was not on our registry but I actually bought this because we needed more baby mittens so this is something I have to wash um, I'm actually running one of the last loads in the wash for her so after I film this I'm gonna wash this and the birth cloths we needed more once I washed everything and put it away I saw what I needed more of um, and then this was on my registry the bundle me um, for the infant carrier because it's winter and it's cold so that I have to wash too also, this is a diaper bag that was not on my registry, but I'm reviewing it for the Newly brand. Um, it actually converts into a backpack or tote or crossbody bag. It has an insulated pocket. I will have a video review on that and giveaway once I test it out. Um, this was definitely on my registry. I actually got two bouncers. The other one was not on my registry, so I had to return one, and this is the one I wanted because it's different from the other ones that I've had with my other three kids. I like that the arches are on the sides and you can open it up, and it's pink. 
I don't have to get anything gender neutral. And then this was not on my registry. It was initially on my registry, but I saw it on sale in Zulily for a fraction of the price. I think this was, no, this one was not on my registry. I had a cheaper one. And then I saw this on sale for cheaper than the one that was on my registry because this one's valued at like $300 and I got it for like 70 on Zulily.com. It's the summer internet baby monitor system. You can actually monitor this through your phone, tablet, computer. Um, this will be great for when I, you know, work, go, go to work part-time, back to work part-time. And then I got the Travel Light um, Braco Crib. Um, she's going to co-sleep with us, but I bought this specifically for traveling in the future and also because if my mom watches the baby... Just somewhere safe to put and her. At least if you watch my vlogs, you would have seen me, you know, get this thing ready. I put a sheet over it because Brian said it's going to get dusty, which is true because I still have three weeks left. But this is the crib um, play yard, convertible play yard that we will leave down here. And this is, I'll be spending most of my time down here. So I can change her down here and take that out. I put her swimsuit here for now in case I decide to bring that. Um, and then she could sleep there and then it converts to a regular play yard when she's bigger and I use a play yard with all three of my kids but then I gave it away so I needed a new one and then also got the boppy this is my third boppy that I'm going through um, and it's super helpful for nursing um, and then when they get bigger so that's another gift that I got also, I've already set this area up. This is like my station. I have a video on this. It's like, I don't know what I titled it, but it's like, this is my station for the babies. I don't have to go up and down, up and down the stairs. Um, I, everything, so that everything will be accessible to me. I keep this little drawer system here. And there's not a lot of stuff in it now because, you know, as I gradually get more stuff, the drawers will get full and this is a diaper caddy that I got comes with a changing um, pad in case we bring this to a different room um, I can use a changing pad if we're not here and then you know have some wipes here I'm gonna put diapers here I have diaper sacks for the dirty diapers and then some of her you know the cream lotion powder um, etc so that's easily accessible and then like I said up when I was upstairs I have um, some other clothes and stuff here so that it's accessible to me blankets and such this is just extras from the thing but um, I don't have too much in here right now because I want to see how big she is before I buy or switch out more sizes for her clothing that's pretty much it I don't have too too many things like I said I kept it very very minimal um, those are the things we needed those are the things we got the only other additional things are small stuff and um, one of the big things I have left on my list is the ergo baby carrier which I probably will exchange get once I return um, the other bathtub and I think that's it. I don't think I'm waiting for anything else in the mail. Oh, I did get this other lightweight stroller from the brand Mia Moda um, that I'm going to review once she gets a little bit bigger as well. Hope you guys well. enjoyed that haul and don't forget to subscribe, uh, leave a comment down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.